The first time I seen somebody get shot, I seen my father shoot somebody. Why are you shooting? You know why? You just Yeah, I know why. Because the dude was in his motherfucking business. That's why I say, man, your fucking business. That's why. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. When's the first time you experienced seeing somebody die or get killed? Oh, I had to be like six years old, six, That's seven years old. Six. What was it? Explain it to um, me what you seen. But before then, the first time I seen somebody get shot, I seen my father shoot somebody. Why are you shooting? You know why? You just Yeah, I know why. Because the dude was in his motherfucking business. That's why I say, man, your fucking business. That's why how I old, got it. How old are I got you? it. When that happened, yeah, when I had to be happened. like three, four three. years old. And you remember that? Hell yeah. I remember getting my diaper changed. Yeah. No, you don't. Yes, I do. And I can tell you who was changing it. Damn. But but wow. let's go back to the fact that your daddy pulled that thing and shot that nigga. Because <laughs> now, I'm my daddy didn't play around with no fucking yeah, my, my mama shot at my daddy at three, and I remember it. So I know he, when she tried to take that nigga head off in the living room, my brother, he know about it. Yeah, I like to kill him now. <laughs> but but I, and bow, yeah, let's go. So how did you feel? Because for me, I'm like, damn, I'm like a movie. I ain't going to lie. I'm like, damn. You, you It was in slow motion for me. How was it for you? When my father shot yeah, boom, the dude. Yeah. Shit, it was, my daddy did what he supposed to do. But you nigga, did he fall? Like, yeah, did you wait to see him drop, or you didn't wait? Yeah, to... I waited. My oh, daddy did too. At three years old. Yeah, I was with my dad. I was behind my father. When my dad, my father walked out the house. I walked out the house behind him. Because okay, whole Your situation. Daddy, girl. Whole, whole, whole situation. My father and my mother was into it. You know okay. what I'm saying? My father was quite older than my mother, and it was a, a dude. My mom was a very nice looking chick. It just is what it is. And it was a dude like they outside arguing and fighting and shit. So it was a young dude who um, I guess he wanted to try to um, prove who he was to my father or, you know, try to prove who he was to my mom so he could probably knock my mom from yeah, my father. Yeah. And he told my daddy, hey, A4, why don't you take, you know, why don't you take that shit in the house? Don't nobody want to see it. Now, everybody know, don't say shit to my daddy. My daddy was not one of those type of dudes. You know what I'm saying? My daddy was not that type of dude. So my daddy say, okay. <laughs> and it was an okay and he turned back around when he turned back around like everything my mother and my father was going through at that point in time ceased my mom already knew what he was on me I'm just a kid I'm running behind my mom and dad because they were arguing and fighting you know I'm just a kid and so my father went in the house my mom was going in the house behind but of course all three of, well it was four of us in the house and my mom was trying to stop my dad my dad like man get the fuck out of my way you know what I'm saying? My daddy go behind that mirror, grab that bag. You know what I'm saying? And when he come back out, he call a dude name. Like, when he walk out the door, I walk out the door behind him. My mom ain't want no parts. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? She, she, uh -oh, um, she oh, want no down. parts. She ain't even try to grab you. No, hell no. You know, my daddy... He fit to go to work. Let's go. No, not grab him. I'm talking grab you to keep you safe. I don't even think she knew I was that out you the were, house. But, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But my whole thing is I understood the tone and I understood the tone and delivery of what was going on. You understand, listen... When when you growing up in certain situations, you understand certain things at a young age. When my dad stopped arguing with my fucking mama, he looked at dude, I knew that look all too well. I done seen him smack a motherfucker before. I already so knew. You, to you see. know what I'm saying? I was, it's not even one to see. It's I'm riding with my motherfucking dad. Riding with that nigga, man. I'm riding I'm with my dad. Years old, you know what I'm saying? Three years old. I'm riding, listen, no, I couldn't I do it. nothing, but in my head, you can't tell me what I can do. You know what I'm saying? In my head, you can't tell me what I couldn't do. You know what I'm saying? I had my daddy right there. My daddy was my superhero. Oh, so really? my daddy walked back out the door. Like I said, he grabbed that, that paper bag from behind that mirror. He walked out the door. I walked out the door behind him. You know what I'm saying? My, like I said, my mom didn't want no parts of her ass. Didn't even know I was gone. Oh, really? So my daddy walked back out. I down the stairs and we hit that alley because we lived in the rear of a building on 67th of Blackstone. Um, it's an alley and a dude was sitting, him and a few more dudes was sitting on the lot. And my daddy walked, he walked halfway to the alley, like halfway standing in the alley in between the building, the gate. And what dude was um, sitting there and he called his name, hey Robert, that's you. You know what I'm saying? And dude stood up, turned around on some tough shit. Yes, yeah, me. And so he said, yes, yeah, me. 